he was a, a boy in the 1920s who began to read science fiction, who began to read some of the technical literature that was starting to appear, written by people like Robert Goddard, written by Herman Olberth and others, and saying, you know, I would want to dedicate my life to pursuing this objective, to pursuing this particular dream. And uh, very early on, as a, as a very young man, he starts working uh, with the, uh, what's known as the VFR, which is the German Rocket Society, to build rockets. And, uh, and then they have some success, but this is kind of amateur rocketry with guys doing this in their garages. And it's not until he starts to work for the army in Germany that he really begins to see funding come to him and capabilities that he would never have been able to, to tap otherwise uh, to develop these technologies. And all through the 1930s and into World War II and ultimately till 1945, he worked for uh, the German government to build ballistic missiles. And those ballistic missiles, he also believed, had the capability of not just launching a warhead on somebody else, but also putting things ultimately into orbit and sending them elsewhere. 